warm welcome to the Trans Am Series presented by Pirelli. Finally, after lockdown, it's round two from the Mid-Ohio Sports Car Course as we turn our attention to XGT, SGT, and the GT class. We start, though, with XGT. With the strong possibility of rain during qualifying, it was a two-headed race between Eric Joyner in a Porsche and Ken Thwaites in his Audi. Joyner was worried about the wet. It was slippy out there in Mid-Ohio. In qualifying, it started pelting rain down. And we only we have 15 minutes to qualify, and I just I got behind some traffic. I didn't I spun on the outlap. I was just a mess, and so it, it kind of rocked me a little bit. And this track, it seems like the the racing line when it's wet is just icy. Ken Blakes took the pole with a time of 213.086 in these atrocious conditions. And as we go on board with Eric Joyner, you can see how bad the conditions really were. Interestingly enough, though, in came Ken Thwaites to go on to Slicks. And that gave him the lead. And Eric Joyner would soon follow suit. In he came, off came the wets. On went the Slicks. And the drying track got faster and faster. Ken Thwaites would lead, but Joyner was catching quickly. And finally, Joyner would take the lead and take victory, his second in a row in XGT. The early leading in SGT was Mark Brumman, GT Tim Horrell, and Chris Dyson was making his way through the field in TA. Conditions improved, but it didn't help Gabriel Jasper in his BMW. He spun round. And there was more drama to come, but Jasper got going again. And Eric Joyner coming out of the carousel, avoiding the traffic and taking victory, his second in a row in XGT. So then the championship coffees at Tool Porsche 911 GT3R of Eric Joyner wins and Ken Thwaites in his Franklin Road apparel. Audi R8 GT3 is second, having taken the pole. We move now to SGT. Mark Brumman making his debut, takes a brilliant win over Adrian Vostoski, who takes his best result ever in the Ford Mustang, Lee Saunders, taking third. We had a good one. Uh, tires are just completely beat. I was expecting them to delaminate at any time, but we kept going and uh, pretty happy with it. So, led most of the race and even in the, the XGTs was beating them as well. So, it was a good time, definitely a good time. In the GT class, it was the breathless racing Porsche GT4 club sport car of Tim Horrell, the paraplegic, taking a brilliant win. The second for breathless of the weekend, Miguel Aponte Rios in second and Gabriel Jasper third. I feel it was amazing. Um, just, just held on there at the end. I was having the same problems I was having at Sebring with the car failing, like no power at all. And I was less than an eighth of fuel tank left, so I was limping home. Thank God. <laughs> Everyone involved delighted to be back to racing and next time out we stay north for round three at Rainer International Raceway in Minnesota. Meet Jonathan Green. Until then, goodbye for now.